was out in this quiet town I see you there, your feathers on the ground Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. This is a dream come true. Few years back, I'm dreaming about drinking my early morning coffee on top of this facility. This is a boathouse actually that I dream about and it's been slowly happening now. And you will see that this is on top of the fish pond and the view here is so fantastic. I just realized that when you dream for big things and slowly doing it, time will come, it will really be materialized. And this is what is happening right now. And from here, we can feed all our fish. If you look down there, you can see plenty of this catfish and even the ducks that are also competing with the catfish in their fish food. And for today's video, allow me to make an update about what happened in this farm. It's been a while that I haven't made a vlog since I was on a mission. And today we will take this uh, very great opportunity that God has given us to make an update of what happened in the past few days. There are big catfish that are already thriving here and I will make a sound, of course you know this, to alert them that there is food. And when they're gonna show up, this is the time that we will give them the pellet. And they're already big. They're just three months old. And I'm so amazed by how this catfish can grow. Because they can grow very fast if uh, they are just released in a good environment for them. And these ducks are also getting bigger and bigger eating the fish food. I'm sure that they're enjoying a lot in, you know, competing with this catfish. The population of our catfish is increasing because some time ago we released, maybe three months or two months ago, we released some thousands of catfish right here and I don't know if they survive but some good indications are showing up because I can see some younger ones that are responding to the feeding and I'm so happy because I am desiring of course to make this area here the viewing deck for our visitors to feed the catfish and you know you can catch them and grill them at your home or you can grill the, it here that's gonna be fine and this is one of the things that I desired and it's slowly happening now. Tick, 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 tick! You look at what happened here. We have a new member of the family to welcome. And they are the gooselings that have hatched just a few days ago. I'm so happy about this, although there are two of them only, but I'm still waiting for the rest to be hatched because there are more than a dozen of eggs that are being incubated. But they only have hatched two, the first batch. And I hope that the second mama, you know, sitting on the second batch of eggs will give us more goslings. And we will open now the coop, the chicken coop, because we will allow this to, you know, eat all together. I would like to train them to eat all together. In fact, the mixture of this kohol, this uh, water spinach, and this azola are giving us 
good results. And these are the food that don't require much of our money because we can just gather this in the vicinity and mix this with the kitchen scraps or the leftovers and that's it. You don't have to spend any single centavo. In our last video, we made mention about the importance of, you know, putting up these nest baskets in order to collect the eggs. And it's actually working good because if you can see right here, almost all of these uh, baskets are filled with eggs already. And these are the native eggs. Did you see that? We can collect dozens of eggs. And in fact, I can collect right here some new eggs five of them actually that are here and I believe that we can gather some in the coming days because more of our hens are already adult and they are actually you know behaving as if they are already very matured to breed and lay their eggs We have new members to welcome in this big family. You <laughs> see that? And you can suggest the names of this. Well, they are very cute. There are only two of them. And I hope you will survive. You are so cute. See? <laughs> Every time that a new member is added to this family, my heart is really filled with joy because I can relate with the life of these animals. They're very cute and they are very natural. You can see them acting or behaving like, you know, an ordinary people here. <laughs> and they are so helpless and they are so dependent for their food from us. <laughs> see that? <laughs> Welcome to Dexter's World! <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching and these are all the things that we can share so far and I would like to invite you to subscribe if you are not subscribed to this channel and also I would like to uh, thank you for this 1.5 million subscribers. We're almost to 1.5 million subscribers. I'm so happy about this and if you are interested about farming, interested about 
the basic tips on how to minimize the expenses for the food consumption for our animals, then I believe this channel is right for you. So subscribe now so that you will be notified of our future uploads only here at Dexter's World.